What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we have a ABC deck profile post eternity code. There's a couple cards in here from Dual Overload, which is coming out in April, and then a card that's coming out in uh, Eternity Code, which is coming out in March, I believe. That might be backwards, but either way, um, once we get this new Union support, ABC gets a whole heck of a lot better. We get single card combos. Um, if you guys haven't seen those, I have a few posted up on my channel involving this deck and some of the cards that I play in here. Um, but jumping right into it, starting out, we have our ABC pieces, 3A Assault Core, 3 B, B Buster Drake, and 3C Crush Wyvern. Um, these guards are the heart and soul of the deck. Once you get started with these plus extenders, you can really start snowballing games. Um, ABC Buster Dragon is just a fantastic boss monster. And none of these are really bricks. All of them have really great utility. Um, a allowing you to add back pieces, C allowing you to extend your plays further with your link plays, and B being basically a secondary starter for those games where you don't open your Union Hanger. So I'm maxing out on those pieces for that regard, and as you'll see later in the deck profile, we also play Pot of Desires, so we want to minimize our chance of banishing any uh, or all copies of a single piece from our deck. Continuing on. Got one copy of Heavy Mech Support Armor. There's a, cool, a bunch of cool combos with this card, um, coupled with this engine, the Symphonic Warrior engine. We got three guitar and two mics. Um, there's two mics because we're playing Pot of Desires in this deck. Um, so I wanted to minimize the chance that I banished both of these and this is dead. Um, alternatively, drawing both of these together really isn't that bad because it allows you to pendulum summon your pieces out of your hand, which is really cool. Um, but like I said, this coupled with this is, has some pretty cool plays because it gives you the additional normal summon. So you can like search this out mid combo sequence to revive a B to keep your plays going, keep searching out cards, keep building a bigger board that's going to be harder to break. Um, also, it's like a level five extender for the paradise combos that I've uh, listed on the channel as well. So overall, this is a really solid engine. Um, I think that it, on the hands where you don't open your union hanger, if you open this with like B and other cards, you can still play the game. So I think for that one reason, I think that this is incredibly vital um, for the deck as it currently is. Continuing on, we have two copies of Galaxy Soldiers paired with the one Photon Orbital. This car, this combo gets actually like really insane post uh, eternity, uh, actually dual overload because of Union Carrier. Union Carrier allowing you to equip the Photon Orbital from deck uh, so that you can send it to the grave to search out a Galaxy Soldier is really, really cool. Um, and it gives this deck a lot of combo power, gives this deck the ability and the discard outlets that it needs to uh, uh, put your pieces into the graveyard for your Buster Dragon, as well as essentially giving you a free Cyber Dragon Infinity along the way. And then the last couple combo cards in the deck, we have one Union Driver. This is another card coming out in uh, Eternity Code, I believe. Um, this card is really good. You typically equip it with your Union Hanger to any of your pieces that you summon. Um, so that you can banish it to equip a piece from deck, getting around Union Hanger's restriction of not allowing you to special summon the Union monster you equipped earlier in that turn, which is really cool. Gives you monsters to make plays with, and more importantly, allows you to trigger your uh, pieces and go into your Union Carrier plays. So this guy's pretty pivotal for a lot of the combos in the deck. Um, might bump it up to two later on, we'll see. It's kind of bricky if you draw it, um, but overall, a really solid card. Continuing on, we have our one copy of Trickstar Korribane, because that goes with our one copy of Light Stage, as you'll see later in the deck. Um, this is just another level 5 extender that you can just special summon for free, um, and gives you additional value out of your set rotation. If you Or your Trickstar Light Stage, if you draw your Trickstar Light Stage. Uh, continuing on, we have our some hand traps in the deck. Uh, these are completely optional, I think. You could like completely change these around. Um, I'm playing Ghost Bell, because this deck... Uh, has the very unfortunate aspect of just outright losing to a card like Called by the Grave. Um, if you tag out your Buster Dragon and they Called by the Grave it, you want to have the bell to be able to negate the Called by the Grave. Otherwise, like, you're having a really bad time because uh, if you can't snowball with your Buster, your game plan is just so much worse than it could be. Um, so for that reason, I'm playing 3 Bell. Uh, the Ash could be format dependent. Um, this could just be two other like extenders if you want to focus harder on that aspect. For now, this is just like the 38th and or 39th and 40th card of the deck. It's still really impactful. Um, only two of it because you know I don't want to over brick on hand traps. Um, alternatively, I'm sure you could pivot this deck to be going more second, uh, more going second oriented um, by using cards like uh, Super Poly to discard pieces or Clara and Rushka so that you can send your pieces to the graveyard um, to be able to trigger your stuff. Um, but this is in a more going first build. I like this a little bit more. Um, 
Also, I guess you can also Ash uh, your their, your opponent's Phantasmus Ace because a lot of your combos are forced to go through Link Monsters, which is kind of cool. But overall, it's just a solid hand trap, um, and that's the reason I'm playing it. But the Ghost Bell is, I feel, almost mandatory for this deck to play. Continuing on to our field spells, we have three copies of Union Hanger, one Trickstar Light Stage, one Terraforming, one Set Rotation. So all of these cards are really, really good. Uh, Union Hanger clearly is the best card in this deck, so we want to play our five copies of it. Um, alternatively, you could play a different field spell, I guess. Um, like you could play a Chaos Form um, or something that your opponent can't activate with set rotation. But the reason I like the light stage is that um, you set, if you draw the, the, your brick, it's not, it's not dead. Whereas those other cards are dead. Like your brick just straight up searches you an extender at the beginning of your turn. Um, so I think that's why this card is beneficial to play over any other cards. Uh, also, it helps you make rank fives, or the extender helps you make rank fives, which basically is our Azathot combo in the deck. Continuing on, three copies of Called by the Grave. Don't want to get hand trapped. Um, and then three copies of Instant Fusion. Um, I'm not playing Millennium Eyes in my deck right now. Um, it probably should be a Millennium Eyes um, going forward, but really, it depends on how you want to build this deck. If you want to focus more on going second, then you can play the Thousand Eyes Restrict. Uh, if you really want to focus on going first and forcing your combo through, then you can play the Millennium Eyes, um, allowing you to basically have six copies of cards that say no hand traps. Um, we might also be getting Crossout Designator in um, Dual Overload. And if that's the case, then like these could just be cross out designators instead. Um, they're not extenders, but like just the ability to turn off not only hand traps, but also like being able to cross out designator or called by the grave on your opponent's Buster Dragon is really beneficial. Um, so if that card gets announced, this deck list probably changes a little bit. But for now, this is an extender. This is a card that outs your opponent's cards. So it's really good overall. Continuing on with the last three spells in the deck, we just have three more consistency cards, two Pot of Desires, and one Upstart Goblin. Um, wanted to max out on this, but I also was like kind of shaky on it because there is a lot of like one of combo pieces in the deck, but there's also hands where like if you just don't open playable, um, you have a really bad time, um, and to just draw two from that is really beneficial, but also because this deck is so bricky, like, you don't really want to necessarily clog with two of these, but it's such a power spell, like, the deck list numbers might have to change to accommodate playing three of this, um, and then the one upstart goblin, because we're playing a combo deck, essentially, or we're playing an in inconsistent deck at the very least, uh, we want to see our field spell as much as possible, so upstart goblin helps us get there in that regard. Continuing on, we have our extra deck. Now, this is a deck where I think that the extra deck space is super tight because we're basically playing all the types of monsters except for synchros, um, which can be kind of frustrating. Like this is one of the few decks where I think that I wish I had like 18 slots in the extra deck because it would give me more room for like Xyz monsters and more room for Link monsters. Um, but starting off, we have our mandatory three of ABC Dragon Buster. Um, everyone says his name wrong, myself included. I always call him Dragon but or Buster Dragon. But uh, this card is the heart and soul of the deck, allows you to snowball matchups, and what honestly is keeping this deck, uh, maybe not, not keeping this deck uh, from being good, but like is the card that keeps this deck good. Like without this card, it would be pretty bad. Um, the ability to just go into this every turn, essentially get a pendulum summon every turn because you get to bring out three monsters is just crazy. Um, and then the last two are two instant fusion targets. Like I said, this could be a Millennium Eyes or this could be the Thousand Eyes Restrict. Um, I don't own the Millennium Eyes, so I thought that showing this as a Thousand Eyes was perfectly fine because this is also still a very good target. And then there's also Duplexer, Diplexer Chimera. So this could also be a Panzer Dragon because it's a light level five machine. However, this card is also good um, because you allow, it allows you to tribute itself to turn off your opponent's spells and trap cards during the, uh, the battle phase. So if you're playing against a trap deck and you have like an instant fusion in hand but you don't need it to pop off, you can summon this out and then tribute itself off and then you actually be able to like play around back row in the damage step. If like you already have a pre-established board um, and your opponent just went set five pass and you couldn't clear all those cards, yeah, you just summon Diplexer, tribute it, your opponent can't really do anything and then you just go in and start clearing all their stuff. Um, alternatively, because Buster Dragon is a quick play, it allows you to go into Diplexer and then safely Buster Dragon uh, your opponent's cards during the battle phase instead of uh, during the main phase. That's it for the fusions. Moving on, we have four Xyz monsters. I kind of wish I had room for more. Um, like I wanted to leave the Paradise in here because there's a combo that I so heavily showcased. Um, Abyss Dweller just shuts off decks, so I felt like I had to include it. Uh, and then the Infinity Package is basically what we end on uh, for our standard one card combo. So it basically forces its way into two slots in this deck. Um, 
and then this card just turning off your opponents like everything and then just being able to push them in for game seems like fantastic um the numbers like depending on how the ruling on this works um it's a very interesting card because it says you can turn one of them one of those rolls into seven so i was talking with a few people and we weren't quite sure if that insinuated that you could turn both dice rolls into a seven or if you could turn one of the dice rolls into the seven but either way if you can just turn your opponent's roll into seven like if they roll a six you just or if you roll if they roll like a 11 you just make it seven then the odds are like 83 percent in your favor that you uh, succeed on his effect in stopping your opponent but if it's the other effect where you can change any one dice into a seven like say your opponent rolls a one and a six and you change the one to a seven um then the odds jump up to like 92 percent so either way it's an 83 percent or a 92 percent chance that you uh blank your opponent's turn um and we're already playing kind of a, a gimmicky deck because it relies so heavily on our field spell to begin with why not play something fun like this where like you're just going for the gamble uh and your opponent will get even saltier when they lose to it because they don't they haven't actually done the math there themselves and realized how bad it is for them um and then continuing on to the links, we got the basically the heart and soul of this deck, Union Carrier. This card is fantastic. Um, really what unions needed to be able to play the game. Um, just the ability to throw two unions into this, trigger their effects, equip a union from deck. Um, there's some combo lines where you don't even equip the Photon Orbital. You just equip uh, this from deck because this only requires two monsters that have the same le uh, attribute or type. Um, so you equip this from deck, banish it to equip like any random piece to this card and then special summon that piece and that gives you extenders in that way um if, if you don't have the cards in hand to really make use of your galaxy soldier um but overall this card is really cool um it would be insane like absolutely snapped in half if you could link off with this card thankfully you can't um, there's some good ca good card design on konami's part because this card is already nuts enough on its own um continuing on the rest of the link twos this is like again this is where i wish i had more space like i only play two link twos ip and a phoenix um and there's some combos where you just need like you need the generic links to be able to climb up into further plays um and this is where i wish i had like i don't know um a gamma to be able to play but there's really no room for it um so we're just playing like realistically the best link twos this allows for interruption on your opponent's turn this clears back row for free with your abc pieces which is really cool and then uh one link three one nightmare unicorn this is again with your pieces you basically go through unicorn trigger all their or go into phoenix trigger all their effects link the phoenix plus something else into a unicorn trigger all their effects like abcs with links is actually pretty crazy um it's really cool and then the last two cards are appaloosa which i do not own hopefully by eternity code i do and one copy of boral sword dragon um both these cards are really good there's some like combos where you uh, ladder up into this card basically for free which is really cool and then this card says um all those pieces that you just tagged out of buster throw them right back into the graveyard trigger all of their effects and then make a boral sword dragon which is like <laughs> honestly really fantastic um just, it, it basically turns like after your turn one play you know you basically have a guaranteed way to go for game next turn um which is really really good um so i think this card definitely makes a cut in this list um but like i said it's pretty easy to see that the extra deck was pretty tight um the main deck options are pretty tight as well um but overall i think this deck is really cool has some really cool options moving forward we're probably going to be getting even more union support which is going to make this deck <laughs> even harder to build even harder to justify some of these cards in here um but overall let me know what you guys think and this has been underclocked i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time